Many operations in the orchard, such as pruning, hand thinning, tying and bending of branches, and harvesting, require the use of ladders. These ladders need to be carried from tree to tree, thereby decreasing labour efficiency. Placing ladders into trees may also damage fruit. There are various types of mobile platforms that workers can stand on when working in an orchard. This allows them to reach higher parts of the tree without having to carry a ladder and increases the efficiency of the workforce. Let's have a look at platforms used in the orchard. There are platforms that are self-propelled and those that can be towed by a tractor. Some are fitted with features to assist the worker such as hydraulic pruning shears. A harvesting system consists of a platform to which a harvesting module is added. Typically, this module has conveyor belts onto which the fruit is placed. The conveyor belts transfer the fruit to the bin where they are evenly distributed by a bin filler. Once a bin is full, it is removed and replaced with an empty bin. The harvesting system may reduce bruising and other harvest injuries as there is less handling of the fruit. There are also harvesting machines that make use of suction to transport the fruit. Not all orchards are suitable for mechanization. The orchard floor needs to be level without large stones on the ground that may impede the machines. New orchards have to be designed with mechanization in mind while existing orchards have to be prepared to accommodate the machines. In order to use platforms in the orchard, the trees need to be shaped into a fruiting wall to keep the aisles clear. Branches growing across the aisle would knock into the workers and could be damaged by the platform. Workers also need to reach all parts of the tree while standing on the platform. If an existing orchard is pruned to accommodate the harvesting systems, a reduction in yield may occur and some trees may become more vigorous. Organization of labor will have to be adjusted when farmers take the mechanization route. Methods used today allow each member of a harvesting or pruning team to work at his or her own speed. The teams that work on mechanized systems have to be trained to work at the same speed. If one person is working at a slower speed than the others, the whole operation will be slower than it could be. Breakdowns must be taken into account. If a mechanized platform or harvesting system breaks down, you can't harvest and the ladder method will have to be used. In this case, the labor may not be available to do the job. Platforms and harvesting systems are being tested at present to gather data on the efficiency of the systems in South African conditions. There is not a lot of mechanization in deciduous fruit tree crops in South Africa at present. Mechanization of a farm and an industry is a gradual process that will take a number of years to implement. The results could increase efficiency and lower operating costs and this could prove beneficial to the farmer in the long-term running of his farm operation.